Today, we'll be installing a Sunny Power 48 volt 105 amp hour lithium battery on a club car precedent. We'll guide you through each step of the installation process, from mounting the new battery and wiring the components to completing a clean and efficient upgrade. Let's get started. Start by setting the parking brake. Next, turn the key to the off position. Now remove the seat by tilting it up and pulling it straight off the cart. Set it aside in a safe place. Locate the run toe switch and place it in the toe position. Let's move on to removing the old lead acid batteries. Start by unscrewing and disconnecting all battery cables. As you do this, take note of the main positive and main negative cables, as well as any additional wiring connected to the batteries. Once everything is disconnected, remove any battery brackets or retaining screws. Carefully lift and remove each battery from the compartment. These batteries are heavy, so make sure to use proper lifting techniques or get assistance if needed. Before proceeding, make sure all cables have been clearly labeled. This will help ensure a smooth and accurate installation of the new battery system. If the battery compartment is dirty or has any corrosion, take this opportunity to thoroughly clean the area. A clean and dry compartment will help ensure a safe and reliable installation. Now remove the two T40 Torx bolts and the plastic clip securing the rocker panel on each side of the cart. Now let's carefully remove the rubber floor mat. Remove the two T30 bolts at the front and rear of the seat base. Find the release tabs on the charging port cover. Using a small screwdriver, Gently press into the tabs and carefully pry off the outer ring. Carefully remove the three T40 Torx bolts securing the trim panel just beneath the charging port. While gently lifting the body near the seat base, roll the bottom edge of the trim panel forward and guide it out of place. Carefully unscrew and remove the charging port from the trim panel. Then, guide the port out through the opening, pulling it toward the rear of the cart. Remove the T40 Torx screw, securing the controller heat sink in place. Then, carefully tilt the mounting plate forward and slide it out into the battery compartment. Take your time here to avoid stressing any connected components. Find the factory charging port pigtail behind the mounting plate. Disconnect the three wires from their terminals and remove any hardware for reuse. Position the mounting plate back into place and fasten it using the original T40 Torx screw. Ensure everything is tightened securely before moving on. Install the Sunny Power charging port using the included screws or the original hardware if preferred. Make sure it's properly aligned and securely fastened in the original mounting location. Unscrew the two T30 and one T15 Torx screws holding the dash panel in place. Keep the screws safe for later use. Gently pull the dash panel downward to detach it from the dashboard. To install the mounting bracket, we first needed to remove the center plastic divider from the cart. Using a cutting tool, we carefully trimmed and removed the piece to create the necessary clearance. After removing the divider, we sanded the area to ensure an even surface for the bracket. Next. Position the single mounting bracket in place. Make sure it sits flush against the surface, then securely fasten it by tightening the screws to ensure a stable and reliable fit. Carefully place the Sunny Power Lithium battery onto the mounting bracket. Ensure it is properly aligned and securely seated, with the terminals facing the correct direction for easy access during wiring. Secure the battery to the mounting bracket by firmly tightening the screws, ensuring it is safely and securely held in place. Place the Sunny Power Lithium Charger in a secure and accessible location on the cart. 
Use the provided screws to firmly mount the charger in place, ensuring it's stable and won't shift during use. Plug the gray quick connect into its matching connector on the charging port, making sure it's securely connected. Also, connect the communication cable to the corresponding port on the charger, ensuring both are secure. Place the Sunny Power DC to DC 12 volt converter in a secure and easily accessible spot on the cart for convenient access and stable mounting. Remove the shipping protectors from both terminals on the Sunny Power lithium battery. Start by connecting all positive wires the main positive, the charger's positive, and the 12 volt converter's positive. Then, connect all negative wires, the main negative, the charger's negative, and the 12 volt converter's negative. Make sure all connections are secure. Now, connect the 1.44 inch charge indicator by plugging it directly into the battery. After drilling a hole in the cart's dash to accommodate the charge indicator, connect the other end of the indicator cable securely to the back of the display screen. Next, connect the CAN communication cable to the battery. Now, reinstall the dash panel. Carefully route all wires back into their original positions, then secure the panel using the original 2T30 and 1T15 screws. Reinstall the rear body and kick panel, securing them firmly by tightening all screws. Reinstall the charging port trim. Reinstall and tighten the seat base screws securely. Before installing the floor mat, ensure the floor is thoroughly clean to remove any dirt or debris for a proper fit. Now, install the floor mat ensuring it lies flat and fits securely without any folds or gaps. Finally, place the seat back onto the cart, ensuring it's properly aligned and securely positioned. Now, let's test the system to ensure everything is functioning properly and see how smoothly the cart runs with the new Sunny Power Lithium upgrade. <laughs>